part two of New York. So before we left, my parents and Zach's parents gave us money to spend in New York City. How awesome is that? Which allowed for us to do a couple things that we probably wouldn't ordinarily have spent money on, like the Empire State Building. But let me tell you what, the kids loved it. Colin really wanted to go. In fact, that was his number one thing to do there, so we splurged on tickets. Tickets to the Empire State Building cost $170 for all of us to make it up. I thought Zach was gonna have a heart attack. Luckily, it wasn't our money. Thank you, Mimi. Love you. I'm done. Okay. That's pretty high up. What do you see? Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> this is an awesome view. How about you take a look? totally worth it because the view is insane. <laughs> One day we're going to be up there, babe. Oh yeah, definitely. Did everybody have fun in the Empire State Building? Yeah! Oh yeah. This is where Buddy the Elf's dad lives. So how do you make such a crazy busy city like New York City fun for kids? you take them on a movie tour. Or we thought we'll do it ourselves. We'll hit all the top spots of all their favorite movies, including a couple of our own. And that way we get to see what we want of New York City and it makes it fun for the kids. For instance, the Brooklyn Bridge, which happens to be a huge movie set for all kinds of films. the most unexpected things end up being the most fun. So we got on a subway from Manhattan all the way over to the Brooklyn Bridge. When we exited the subway, it was raining. We did not plan on the rain, but we walked across the bridge anyway. Because it was raining, we headed to the New York Public Library. And our next stop is the New York Library, partly to get out of the rain. included the New York Public Library, where Carrie Bradshaw was supposed to marry the love of her life big, Central Park for Home Alone, the Empire State Building for movies like Elf, the American History Museum for Night at the Museum. Don't forget about the subways for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A do-it-yourself movie set tour of New York City is so fun with kids. Hey, it's our last day in New York City. It's been so busy that we realized we did not show you the hotel room. So I'm gonna show you the hotel room, even though we're leaving it. We got this hotel room for free. It's the Hampton Inn. We got it with our Hilton Honors credit card points. 
and it's normally like $300 a night for two queen beds. And you might be thinking to yourself, two queen beds, um, how are they ever gonna fit six people in two queen beds? Well, we did it. Colin slept on the floor, and I slept, slept sideways on the end of the bed. Now we're not gonna do that the whole trip. But for right now, it worked. New York City, it worked. I don't know that Zach had the most comfortable night's sleep, but the rest of us did. We're checking out of the Hampton. Can everybody wave? They have this little lounge area when you check in. Free breakfast, that's awesome. And the most important thing of any hotel, coffee. We had so much fun. Everything in New York City was awesome. Our first international flight is next. Where are we off to? I just want to make a side note that it takes Zach about 10 seconds to make these videos and me about an hour. Peace. We're off to our second stop first.